Hello, 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 hello. Oh my gosh, it is me. So I want to do a quick video because I want to be transparent as I possibly can throughout my day when I learn something I want to be able to tell you and I don't have time to put on lipstick, makeup, and or clothes to do so because it's um, a sense of urgency. So for many of you, um, you probably don't know it, but for the last year and a half, I've um, worked a full-time job and also I have homeschooled my son who's nine years old, Harrison. Um, the reason I homeschooled him was basically because he was in um, school, a special needs class because of a speech delay and some learning delays and challenges. And I felt I was spending the majority of my time in the office defending my child, saying he is smart enough. He can do it. Um, that's a whole nother topic that I definitely will share with you on the experience with IEPs and um, <clears throat> perf uh, mostly a black <clears throat> black boy been in a class with um, Caucasian um, teachers, women teachers who really don't understand our children at times and classify ADHD or any other type of um, disability as one where they are not focused and they just can't get the work done. And so I was finding that he was in a um, classroom, mostly, primarily he was in a class where it was just him and a couple other kids who had their own different challenges. And um, I felt that he was spending more time on iPad and whatnot. But over the last few years, we've, a year and a half, we've actually went over probably about 20 different field trips, um, things that he would never have been able to do if he was in school in a classroom with the iPad, just waiting for someone to validate his um confidence in who he is and what his capabilities are so it was a choice that definitely wasn't one that I planned out um, it was one that um, I would say was orchestrated by God and I'm all about living a purposeful journey and being aware of where I'm supposed to be in that journey um, and so I took on this and then I also work and I um, it's it's a lot to have work-life balance, to work from home, to be able to teach a nine-year-old growing boy who's very curious and wants to know, oh my God, everything and then doesn't want to listen and then you have to cook. So I've been a chef, a janitor and all the other stuff. But needless to say, I'm very happy um, that I did take the journey. Um, and I'm here to encourage you, whatever journey you're on, even though it may seem like, gosh, I'm never going to get to it, um, remember to preview review write down everything that you are experiencing throughout your day what did you learn what went well what didn't go well um and what could you do better whatever but i simply wanted to come on here really quickly just to um to let keep it real like you get tired and exhausted and i had a student ask me like you sound tired like as a motivational speaker, everybody thinks you're supposed to be on cloud 10 or way up in the sky, high, 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 but we get tired at times too. And it made me reflect upon a conversation that I actually had with my mother and some other young women this past weekend where we were talking about it's very important to take time for yourself. You know, I didn't think that, um, I didn't think that. I know back in the day, I want to say I was trying to just do all kind of stuff and I didn't value the importance of taking time for myself. And so I'm all about now like pausing and saying, OK, I'm tired. It's OK to stop for a moment and reset. Pause um, when you're frustrated. You know it because you're about to knock somebody out. Like mostly it's my son because he's here all the time. But then you're on edge when you're on your job and people notice it and you're not performing like you should and things like that. And it's, it's, it's unfortunate at that time. So I encourage you to take a step back from your situations each week, at least, you know, during your day. Take a closed door time where you take five minutes in the bathroom and just sit or you go for a walk during your day. Um, and just and just decompress, get away, separate yourself from others' energies and the responsibility of motivating others or encouraging others and just simply do you. Um, so 
and despite all of what I do go through, but at the end of the day, I'm very pleased with the majority of the things that I've accomplished. Um, and like I said, this past weekend, also it was such a learning weekend, just keeping track of those accomplishments so that when you do get at this point, you can reflect upon and say, Hey, I've done well, I'm doing well, I'm doing, I can do, I mean, you know, I was given strength and I, I can continue to move on and move forward. So I hope this uplifts someone. I hope this empowers you as I continue to move through my day. I um, will just continue to write down what I've been learning and, and share it with you as I go. And you see my headset on. I didn't even take it off. But um, Harrison? Yes, I That's how life goes. Hello. Hello. Everybody see your nostrils. That's the way life goes. Oh, he wants to show what he's some of his words he's you learned on his board. So tell him a little word. So he's becoming a reader, a fluent reader, you know. I'm proud. I'm happy. And I'm proud of you, Harrison. Hello, everybody. Mm, you making a debut? Oh gosh. All right, that's it. Bye.